In this episode, we are going to take a look on the ambient light. So this is where we left off. We just have this orbiting sphere, which acts as a light around this Christmas tree. And uh, before I continue, I just created a GitHub repo for this series and I started to upload the codes to this repository and I'm also going to add this repository to the video description. I started to upload from uh, episode 19, so from the point light. So if you want, you can just go to this repo and copy the codes and also you can download. Here is the my models folder and in this my models folder I added the Christmas tree uh, egg file also the arm egg file so this is the same arm model animated arm model I used in my actors and animations uh, episode and also here in the text folder you will find the used texture so the arm.png and xmax uh, texture.png so okay so go to google and type panda 3d lighting and go to the manual or the documentation and here is the ambient lights so an ambient light is used to fill fill in the shadow shadows on the dark side of an object uh, so it doesn't look completely black uh, and the light from an ambient light is un uniformly distribu distributed everywhere in the world. So the ambient light position and orientation is irrelevant, so it doesn't matter. And here, usually you don't want to create an ambient light without also creating one of the other kinds of lights. And so, just read through this. And... So what we are going to solve with this ambient light, uh, we are going to make the uh, unlit part of the tree also, um, also add a little bit of this ambient light to those parts. So um, I'm going to show you what, what I mean. So here I unloaded the tree model, I also set its position and reparent it to the render. Yes, here I also set the, uh, set the camera position to Y negative 12. Here is the light model, so the sphere, and uh, its scale, and also represent it to the render. I won't need this light X and light speed anymore, so I'm just going to delete these two. And here is the point light. And for now, I'm in the move light. Uh, method which is called every frame I'm going to delete everything and I'm going to attach the point light instead of the renderer to the light model so here in line 32 when we create a point light on what part I'm going to attach uh, to the Save that light model notepad the p light instead of the render so now it it is only it is enough to move only the self that light model uh, and the light will move with the model light model or the sphere so i'm just going to change the light model's position so self that light model light model that set position and on the X I'm going to set it to 4, Y0 and X0. And now here is the light. Uh, it is parented to the sphere, so it will be always in the same location as uh, the sphere. And one more thing I don't like is I don't want to um, the sphere to be affected by the light. So as you can see now we have this uh, one side of the sphere is black and the other side is uh, white. So you can do this uh, here when we create the point light instead of setting the renderers set light to point light notepad I'm just going to change this to tree. 
tree. So self that tree that set light point light no what bad. So now the sphere won't be affected by the point light. Only the the tree will be affected. As you can see now the sphere is full white. So as you can see now without uh, the ambient light only with the point light the right side uh, of the tree is uh, is lit um, with the light but the left side is totally black or totally dark only these spheres are barely visible so let me add that ambient light and I'm just going to first of all go here when we import the point light I'm also going to import the ambient light so ambient ambient light and I'm going to create here the ambient light I'm going to name it a light equals ambient light and I'm just going to name it a light so I'm also going to set its color so a light that set color set color and this is a tuple and I'm just going to add a very uh, subtle uh, ambient lighting so 0 0.04 uh, red green blue so 0 0.04 and 0 0.04 and 1 for the alpha and I'm also going to create a no, uh, notepad so ALNP or ambient light notepad equals self dot render that that attach new node and I'm going to give it a light and lastly I'm just uh, I'm just going to set the cell that tree that set light set light and giving it the ALNP or the ambient light notepad so let me run this so now as you can see the left side is no more that pure black so it is it has this ambience and of course if you want to know or if you want to learn more about uh, the ambient or the lighting not just in panda but in general in 3d you can go on to google and uh, learn about ambient lights point li point lights uh, directional lights and so on uh, I'm just going to add back that um, the last code which will orbit this sphere which acts as a light around the tree so for that I'm going to use the this frame time so the global code that get frame time I'm just going to copy this so you can find it if you search for Panda 3D Global Clock and open up the manual and here is the delta time and here is the frame time. And I'm going to replace the, this delta time with the frame time and I'm just going to rename the frame time to FT. And here I'm going to add to self dot um, self dot light model okay self dot light model I just forget <laughs> what how I named this so self dot light model that set position set position and this will be the cosine of the FT or the frame time and scale up by four and sine of FT scaled up by four and zero so this will rotate the light uh, on the x y plane so let me see and this ft or the frame time is the time measured uh, since the application started so in seconds and now we get back the rotation but uh, now if the light is behind the tree like in this situation the tree is still barely visible because of the ambient light
So at the end, just compare the two. I'm just going to remove the line 40 or comment out line 40 when, where we set the tree that set light, uh, ambient light notepad. And now it is totally black when the light is behind the tree. Totally black. And set it back. Now it is not black. And also you can play with the ambient light color. I just set it uniformly to 0.04 and 0.04 for the RGB. But um, let's say I'm going to set the red channel to 0.8. And now it has this red ambience. So when the so as you can see that when the light lights up, so the those parts which are lit up are still green, but the ambience parts are now red. So you can play with these color values if you want. I just like to set it to uniformly to a, a small number.